Hey Karen, this is Norm from Schaefer Chevrolet here with our 2011 Gold Mist Metallic Impala. Um, I'm gonna do a little walk around for you. Very, very cold out here, so it might not be the most stable video, um, but I'm gonna do my very best. Um, I, but I did wanna get a better look. I know you mentioned the pictures weren't very good or, or were small on whatever device you were viewing it on, um, but I wanna be able to see it as best as possible. And quite frankly, it's not the sunniest day out, but uh, we're gonna play the cards we've been dealt, all right? Uh, tread looks pretty nice. It's a pretty nice rubber to it. Now these are aluminum alloy wheels. They are not steel wheels, which is, um, you know, an LS typically does come with steel wheels. Uh, so that's nice to see. Um, I'm not seeing any major cosmetic issues. Uh, so that looks good, that looks good. Yeah, she is bitter out today. Uh, but the one thing that really attracted me to this car is it's not very, very gold. I could show you a few cars on my lot that are really gold compared to this. Um, but this, you know, the bug guard kind of right there, and then the pinstripe, this kind of sets it off for me. For me, that makes it a little bit more unique than every other Impala out on the road today. Your interior is nice and clean. I don't see any rips, tears, or burn holes. Of course, power windows, power mirrors, power locks, power seat, which is also nice to see in an LS. But clean interior, does not smell like a smoker to me. I'm gonna hop in where it's warm for a minute. Um, so we'll take a look at the driver information center. I did say approximately 76,000 miles. It looks like we got some test drive miles on here. Uh, so just a little north of 76,000 miles, 76,438. Uh, but if you're not familiar with these, you may be having an older Impala, uh, but let's cover them just in case. We got trip A, we got trip B, fuel range, average economy, instant economy, average speed. Bring us right back to our odometer. The second button, these top two are gonna be your most used oil life and then English or metric units. A lot of vehicles come from Canada, they need to be able to switch easily. Um, on start capabilities, right up top, I know you said that doesn't really matter too much to you, uh, but it is nice to have that peace of mind safety out on the road. Um, in case you do get into an accident um, and, and say you're knocked unconscious, that OnStar is going to get emergency services out to you. Um, now down here, of course, are radio controls. Radio sounds real nice. It uh, doesn't sound like we have any blown speakers or anything, but you got your CD player there. And then if you're the type to like to listen to your music through an auxiliary cord, you do have that. that can be there as well. Now we move this out of the way. We have two 12-volt chargers right down below your heating. Um, so that's pretty basic right there. And then uh, we got our center console, this nice little tray here for like change or whatever you want to put up in there. And then another 12-volt down below. Like I mentioned, uh, we do have the cruise control function right there on the wheel. It's on, off, and then this will cancel it, resume, and set. Um, blinker, none of them are blinking fast, so it tells me they're all working properly. <laughs> a little icy. Um, and then we got our light settings on the left, trunk release, traction control, and uh, interior light settings. So let's go ahead and open up that trunk. So a ton of space, and as you can see, you can fold your seats down, 60-40 split seat. Do you have your spare tire under there? Always check for one of those. But anyways, Karen, this is Norm from Schaefer Chevrolet once again. Just wanted to uh, take a quick walk around it, hopefully give you a little bit better view at it than what the pictures may have provided you. And uh, I'm going to be sending this out your way by the time you get it. Of course, it'll already be there, um, the, stating the obvious, but <laughs> we'll talk to you soon, Karen. Thanks.